Happy 2020, everyone. Boy, 2019 sure has been a year, hasn't it? Just like the last several years. Personally, I had some low points, like getting into a traumatic car accident in February and then getting rear-ended again just last week, but at least this time it didn't do any damage. But I also had some high points, like getting engaged. But for the purposes of this discussion, what I did last year was make silly videos for you, which I intend on continuing this year. You know, keep that streak going. Speaking of which, you may recall last year I made some resolutions regarding those silly videos, and uh, like everyone who makes New Year's resolutions, I failed most of them. Let's go through the list and uh, see where I went wrong. Resolution number one. I resolved to attempt to release at least one new scripted video a month in 2019. Okay, I did come close here. I did 10 scripted videos this year. One a month for eight months and then two in December. I also did three comedy sketches and a song parody, which were all technically scripted, even though I didn't charge them as scripted videos because of resolution number two. So you could argue that I averaged out to succeeding in this, even though I did technically miss three months of my goal. And in the other weeks, I usually had something for you, many of which were semi-scripted. I only had to rely on best ofs for 11 weeks this year, so uh, let's call this one a mixed success? Resolution number two. I resolved that all scripted videos I release will be available, at least in rough cut form, to patrons at the $2 and up level before the end of the previous calendar month. Okay, this. This is the one resolution I actually succeeded completely at because I had to. It was a promise that I made to paying customers that I'd deliver something within a specific time frame. I'm not gonna go back on that. And succeeding at this resolution is part of the reason I didn't succeed at the previous resolution because if a rough cut wasn't ready for Patreon by the end of the month, there just was no scripted video the next month. I don't make the rules. I mean, I did technically make this rule, but it was very important to me to follow because I promised something for the money you're paying and I'm not gonna go back on that. Speaking of which, resolution number three. This year, I'm gonna actually finally fulfill all those Patreon stretch goals I've reached over the past few years. Yeah, still hasn't happened yet. And neither has this. And resolution number four, I will at the very least start releasing the Blitz Trap of Fornia. <sighs> I tried, gang, I really did. Turns out living that freelance life and putting out 41 videos and being a human being who exists in the world isn't compatible with trying to finish four huge scale projects. After so long of biting off more than I could chew, I thought I had finally made the bites manageable, and in retrospect, it's kind of ridiculous that I thought that. The bottom line is, as long as I'm not making a sustainable living from this and I have to chase literally every ounce of freelance work that comes my way, I just can't simultaneously work on the four big projects and create regular content here. So this year my resolutions aren't going to be goal-based, they're going to be strategy-based. Uh, first off, I am going to continue with the working on one scripted video a month thing. I'm going to continue not releasing a scripted video if it wasn't available in at least rough cut form on Patreon the month before. This one will start in February. I'm not gonna have a scripted video in January because I'm still finishing up the LA County Fair series. And then once the fair videos are done, until at least one of these massive projects is finished, I'm also not working on more than one unscripted video each month. Just one scripted video, one unscripted video at most each month. Yeah, a lot of the unscripted videos ended up being even more stressful and time-consuming for me than the scripted ones because turns out I don't know how to scale back, even with stuff that I tell myself is going to be filler content. So after the fair videos are done, each month, at most, one unscripted video and one scripted video on the channel. And the other weeks, they're going to be best ofs. Yeah, I know the best ofs can get old, but just to make it a little more interesting, uh, they won't just be from theme park videos anymore. There will also be highlight clips from obsessions, D-list vlogs, and whatever else. And uh, if there's a video that you like of mine where there's just a sequence you really like that you think would make a good best of clip, let me know. And from here on out, on weeks where I don't have anything new, uh, Sunday we'll see two best of clips instead of just one. I figured this was a better compromise between 2018, where it was all best of clips and I did get work done on long-term projects, but you didn't get to see anything new, 
versus 2019, where you got to see a lot of new stuff, but I got almost no work done on long-term projects. So now that we've hopefully made my week-to-week -week workload for the channel more manageable, what about those long-term projects? Well, we have three Patreon stretch goals that are wildly overdue, and a massive theme park series that's wildly out of date. And I'm going to work on one of them until it's finished. Which one shall I work on? That's up to my patrons to decide. I definitely have my suspicions about which one they'll pick, but uh, I have strong cases for any of the four to be the one to prioritize. And uh, if you have an equally strong case and you really want to push for one of them, just sign up at patreon.com slash doggins and vote. There's a link to the poll in the description. And to everyone else, thank you for being patient with me. I know I tend to overpromise and underdeliver. My ambitions frequently exceed my resources. But if you're still liking the stuff that I'm making, then it's still worth trying. I love you all. Have a happy new year. And until next time, this is Dave, signing off.